How good are we at actually conveying our thoughts over email? In 2005, researchers from New York University, the University of Chicago, and the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, wondered the same thing. So they devised a series of experiments to test this. In one experiment, they had participants select 10 sarcastic phrases that were sh that they had decided were easy. That the participant was like, these are easy to convey over an email, and then they had them send them over in an email to someone else. So how well did they do? How well did the receiver understand these emails? 56% realized that the email they got was sarcastic a coin flip. That email or Slack message you sent today that had some humor or nuance or some kind of complexity to it, there's a 50-50 shot. No one knew what you meant. We suck at communicating with plain text. So what do we do? Good morning, happy, what is it, Friday? Today is the day we're going on a cruise. Friday for Friday. Friday for Her and I are in Fort Lauderdale. We had to come here separately from Lynette. We're gonna meet her. Wow, we've been rejoined by the rest of the crew and someone is super excited. There is no one more excited about this cruise, I think, than this little one. This is great. It's in the front. That goes in the front. Cool! Yeah, so something I haven't shared is we, this is finally gonna make the announcement. Lynette works for 1Password. No one knows this yet. Yeah. So this is a 1Password cruise. It's called the AG Conference for Agile Bits. And this is a... <laughs> Lynette recently joined the 1Password team. Just in time for the annual cruise the whole company takes to the Caribbean that I got to go with. <laughs> <laughs> and and ad isn't. I've been using 1Password since 2009. So this was awesome that I got to meet her colleagues, meet the founders of 1Password. That is a lot of people from 1Password. But what impressed me so much on this trip was the effort that 1Password takes to do a meetup like this. It's not easy. The coordination was crazy. It is not an insignificant amount of money, I'm sure, to put together or something like this. We're at the one password private function. She's climbing, this one's climbing the wall. But the founders of 1Password realize what these researchers did. We can't rely on running our businesses with text alone. Emails and chat rooms, they're awesome, they're super useful, but they fail us incredibly often. We need higher bandwidth events like a meetup on a boat where people can hang out for a week talking to each other all day long in person. Look, I'm a huge fan of using text-only tools. I love email. I love Slack. I prefer them over the distractions and these long in-person meetings, but there's an incredible ROI on doing meetups like this, and they're very necessary. They should not be ignored, especially when you realize how often people misunderstand what you're trying to say over a text message. This video wasn't sponsored by 1Password, and, and this trip wasn't free. We paid for myself and Addison to tag along. We were just kind of allowed to kind of join the group, but it was awesome. I love the tool, and I loved meeting the people who work at 1Password and I really respect what they're doing. It looks like it's a great company to work for. Go check out their jobs page if you're interested in working for 1Password. The start of the cruise parade. Thanks for 1Password for letting me tag along and uh, hang out with you guys. If you dig these videos, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. What, is this your hat? It is, but nice. feel free to. I'm gonna